So today we'll talk about AC 8000 certification and benefits. Now what is AC 8000 and what is this certificate? Now AC 8000, it talks about social accountability system. So this is the certificate and it is a very prestigious certificate for any company. Uh, it is not only for the apparel industry but different other engineering industries, this AC 8000 certification is very, very important. And uh, social accountability is uh, described in this AC 8000. Now let us see what do we mean by social accountability and how different uh, stakeholders are involved into this. Now AC 8000 when you are talking, it is beneficial for a company to get the business. The buyers normally want to see that uh, the factory to which they will place their orders, so they must be compliant to different social accountability norms. So AC 8000 is a complete picture of their social accountability efforts. Now who are the people involved here? Workers definitely are involved because AC 8000 normally talks about the workers welfare, white, uh, some of the conditions of work, how they will be there in the factory, different safety measures, health and safety issues. So all these things are involved. So uh, different workers at uh, different categories of workers are involved into this. Then media, stakeholders, supply chain consumers, brokers, government, then different human right groups will be involved, certification bodies who give the certifications, NGOs. So lot of people are involved into this uh, AC 8000 certifications. Now one of the very important area in the, the certifications and the workers involvement here is that formation of the union that also we will see in different uh, code of conducts which are applicable here in SA 8000. Now let us see first what is meant by social compliance. So social compliance when you are talking there are different types of uh, uh, compliance issues that are involved into this. There are laws, there are regulations, there are standards, policies. So those things are all involved in the social compliance. So how a business protects the health, rights and safety of their employees, supply and distribution chain. So all these things are covered in this social compliance. Now let us see what are the other aspects covered under the social compliance, environmental issues and perspective of social responsibility also is another very important part in social compliance today. And different uh, certification system they talk about this uh, environmental issues in the social compliance. Now when we talk about this AC 8000, how it starts? Now Council of Economic Priorities, okay. So they play an important role into this. So creation was 1989, Social Accountability International Organizations. That was the organizations who has developed this and affiliate of the Council on Economic Priorities. So these are the basics of S8000, how it has been formulated. And this is a standard, okay. And with these standards, a factory or a can, an any kind of establishment can be certified where workers or office people who are involved into this. So this can be applied to any company that's why of any size and it can be applied worldwide. And different companies, even the different uh, your marketing companies, okay, digital marketing companies are also involved into this. Amazon is one of them. So these are all very important for them nowadays that to comply with AC 8000 certifications. Now very important part of AC 8000 
is the social responsibility. But how it will be achieved in the factory? In order to know that, we have to understand nine key codes of conduct. Number one is the child labor. So whether the factory is having their child labor. Okay, if child labor exists, then buyers will not place order into that company. Different NGOs, uh, ILOs and different international organizations will protect this um, child labor kind of thing. Then comes the forced and compulsory labor. This is also another area that uh, sometimes people are forced to do work because company will keep their passport and other belongings with them so that particular person cannot leave the company. Health and safety issues are the most prime factor here because when workers work in a factory, so health issues and safety issues are to be taken care of. And uh, then comes the freedom of associations and uh, rights of collective bargaining that also one of the code of conduct. Then comes the discrimination, okay, discrimination in terms of sex, religion. So all these things are involved into this social accountability. Disciplinary practices of course is very important while working the um, uh, supervisor or the managers, okay. So they should take care of this one. Disciplinary practices also include sometimes factories, they deduct the pay from this um, uh, kind of uh, production of some defective items. So those are all coming under disciplinary practices. Working hours is very, very important because garment industry especially is having the tendency to fetch uh, more work from the workers. So lengthy working hours sometimes is there. So there are regulations that's why remunerations in terms of overtime payment and other different types of payment and finally the management systems. So how this social accountability or S8000 will be established in a company. So the elements of the standards as we have seen there are nine elements into it. Now in a garment factory suppose if you go and visit in a garment factory then you can see that uh, different non-compliance will be there in that factory. So what are those non-compliance? So different case studies have been made and the SA 8000 it talks about the uh, different compliances. But what are those non-compliances? Now you can see the non-compliance issues. This is a figure or the photograph you can see that uh, staircase is blocked. Staircase is blocked by um, garments or second hand materials, some cut materials okay. And uh, if that kind of things happen and uh, during the time of evacuation in case of the emergencies. So then workers cannot leave that place or it is blocking their working path okay. So from where they can escape. So this is one of the non-compliances and uh, was observed during the audit period of some auditors in Bangladesh and this is the one of the non-compliances of the safety issues okay, during the time of evacuations. This is also one of the important uh, area where uh, you can see the child labor. It is clearly seen that uh, there is child labor but uh, very difficult to prove that child labor is there in the factory because of the documentations. Now here another important uh, areas of safety is that you can see that uh, a particular area where the fire extinguisher is kept okay, for extinguishing fire if there is in the factory. So that area is blocked. So uh, fire extinguishers cannot be easily accessible. So this is also a serious uh, non-compliance in the um, safety issues, health and safety issues. And this is one of the burning examples of safety issues that uh, a particular the cutter, cutters when it is used. So a particular worker is working without wear mesh, okay, the personal protective equipment. And as a result, uh, in case of some negligency or some uh, uh, working uh, uh, kind of uh, atmosphere, sometimes uh, that concentration level of the workers when it is not there, so that blade is very sharp, okay, it can come and cut the different fingers into that. 
So, in order to avoid that the wire mesh metallic wire mesh is getting used there. It is mandatory for that for the safety of the workers and here it is not there. So, many of the garment factories the workers in the cutting department they use uh, the wire mesh, but sometimes they forget to use that. So, in that cases some accidents may happen. <coughs> Now, S8000 embraces existing international agreements. So, what are those agreements? How S8000 has been formed? So, international labor organizations plays an important role to it. So, similarly, the different kind of universal declaration of human rights that also here and also the UN convention of the rights of the child. So, these are the different areas um, from there different rules regulations have been derived in SA 8000. Now, let us see what are the benefits of SA 8000 certification standard. So, a factory suppose wants to comply with social accountability and uh, they establish uh, that yes, it is now certified company, but what are the benefits associated with it? So, some of the benefits uh, is that the employees treatment, so treating the employees ethically and compliance with the global standard this is very very important in social accountability. Now, when you see the social accountability and its benefits, so one of them is that it saves time and resources if uh, SA 8000 is uh, there or established in a particular organizations. So, everything will be very systematic in that company. Okay and time and resources saving will be there. Then it comes that improvement of the supplier engagement, okay. that is one of the benefit. Supplier also will try to give uh, or supply to that particular compliant factory. It boosts the productivity okay. when everything is in place, safety and all these health issues are taken care of. So, ultimately the boosting of the productivity will be there for the workers. Then there is the increase of efficiency, the workers efficiency will increase, productivity will increase. So, all the benefits are associated with this. It reduces the reputational risk. So, a particular company which is S8000 certified, so there is no risk of reputation at least because they are treated by the buyers as reputed companies because this is S8000 certifications and it also means that the safety standards, then different management systems and uh, welfare measures, so working conditions, so all these things are maintained correctly. There also comes that um, gaining of the competitive advantage, so a company with and without SA 8000 lot of differences are there. And of course, a buyer will place the order to a company which is certified under SA 8000 or social accountability standard. So, that competitive advantage of gaining orders is uh, one of the essential item for this business. Then comes driving the collaboration and reduce the duplications. Those things are also can be done when proper ethics and proper norms are followed under 9 code of conducts. There comes the driving the improvements in ethical and responsible business practices. So, when a company establishes the S8000, so of course, the ethical atmosphere will be created in, inside the factory, then the business practices also will improve into that. So, these are the different types of benefits and if you see overall benefits of factory or the supply chain, so it improves the management and performance of the total supply chain. So, when S8000 certification is there in a factory, it takes care of the risk. Okay allows to ensure compliance with global standards and reduce the risk of negligence, public exposure and possible litigations. So, these are the things can be taken care of by S8000. It also talks about that um, corporate vision and building reinforce the loyalty of the employees, customers and also the different stakeholders. So, these are the different benefits when a company is certified. Uh, under S8000. So, definitely the company's uh, vision and uh, loyalty of the employees will improve into that and better relationship will be there with the stakeholders and the customers. 
So, these are the different areas where the benefits comes in this AC 8000 certifications. Now, there are different other benefits associated with this. It enables to demonstrate proper social accountability when bidding for international contacts. So, this is very, very important when a particular company gets the order from different US or Europe buyers. So, that time if a company is compliant with the social accountability or SA 8000 certified. So, those kind of things will help them actually that uh, social accountability standard is uh, maintained in the factory. So, it is uh, easier for them to get a lot of business contract on the international level. Now, it expanded the uh, locally uh, to accommodate the new business. So, local business also improves uh, if a company is certified with SA 8000. So, it expands that business also. So, these are the different benefits associated with that in the SA 8000 certified company. So, what we have learned from here is that uh, if we try to summarize that there are uh, different kind of uh, norms associated with that by which SA 8000 has been developed. So, one of them is the ILO is uh, one of the major uh, uh, regulations which are coming from this ILO. Then United Nation Universal Declaration of the Human Rights comes and also child labor related norms are also there. Then we have seen the different elements. So, nine different elements or sometimes we call it as a nine different code of conducts which are associated with S8000 certification. So, uh, very very important is the child labor, force labor, then also the workplace safety and health issues, how to take care of freedom of associations and collective bargaining. Then comes the disciplinary part, okay, uh, discriminations, then working atmosphere, working hours and finally, the remuneration part comes. So, SA 8000 certified company takes care of all these uh, nine different uh, codes of conducts and with that they get the benefit, benefit of getting more orders from the companies and also they get uh, different kind of uh, benefits from the local bodies, government, etc. Workers are getting satisfied into that and uh, they are loyal to the company and um, they get some, some uh, proud of their own organizations. So, a lot of benefits are associated with S8000 because health and safety issues are taken care of. So, community also respects them who are working is a, a S8000 certified company. So, it is profitable for the company and also it is uh, uh, equally advantageous for the workforce who are working there because the health issues, safety issues, different welfare measures are taken into account in the social accountability norms. So, these are the different uh, areas of SA 8000 and uh, different uh, benefits associated with this social accountability part. So, a company will survive in this competitive world, uh, especially in the apparel and uh, uh, related industries if they are certified with this SA 8000. Uh, norms or S8000 certification standard. So, thank you very much for attending this lecture. Thank you.